The movement in 1968, the Olympic Project for Human Rights, was basically on the one hand a part of a much larger and broader uh, movement that swept across the entire society and secondly it was something that was specifically germane to problems that athletes were confronted with at San Jose State University as an institution. Uh, in a broader context we have to understand the Olympic Project for Human Rights as part of the general black consciousness and black power movement that was uh, so prevalent in the country at that time. As athletes, we were, you know, with our Olympic Project for Human Rights that year, we were trying to do what we could. We could not be on the front line marching because we was training and competing in, in track and field events all over the world. So when we had our chance was the stage at the Olympic Games. And this is when Tommy did his thing. And, uh, you know, he's doing his part. And he did a fantastic thing because it was uh, recognized around the world. It was... It brought a lot of pride to a lot of black people. Tommy Smith smashed the world record and collected the gold while Carlos got the bronze. But it was their black socks and gloved fists raised in the air as a nonviolent protest for the underprivileged blacks of America that will be remembered forever. What John Carlos and Tommy Smith were saying, at great cost in terms of their image with the American mainstream, with the American mainstream press, was that it's a new day. We are breaking with our fathers on this issue. It's time to move beyond simple access to pride, to dignity, and to the power to make definitions relative to what we are about in sports. So there was a price paid. It was a very, very difficult time. It was a very, very tough uh, time. Uh, it was a time when paranoia uh, was almost a condition of uh, sanity, if not survival. Harry lost his dogs. I mean, people vandalized his home. Tommy got fired from his job. Um, they almost got kicked out of school because they believed in something. And it kind of opened up the doors for all of us. They laid their whole career on the line. They if they had, in that time, kissed up or become Uncle Tom, <clears throat> maybe they would have received the spoils, but they didn't. Consequently, they got kicked out of the uh, village. Um, they came back, they didn't have jobs. Um, they were totally shunned by the American public uh, and totally misunderstood. So when you talk about what impact did John Carlos and Tommy Smith have, you're talking about, one, two people embedded in a broad cultural effort. And secondly, you're talking about people whose actions were germane to a particular historical era, who carried the mail over a particular piece of historical terrain. Moving the message to that next level, moving the movement against racism to that next level was the contribution that Carlos and Smith and Bill Russell and all these people made.